remember taking the safety off. All I remember is hearing the bam, bam, bam of the gun. A Vermont man accused of shooting two people parked in the driveway of the Fairfax home he shares with his parents took the stand in his own defense today in St. Albans. He says he may have been the one to pull the trigger, but he was also the one in danger. Local 22 Stacy De Silva joins us now live from the newsroom. Stacy, several hours of testimony today from Ethan Gratton himself. Lauren, that's right. Gratton spent the afternoon of his fifth day on trial for murder on the witness stand. He says he acted in self-defense. Past his lawyer and the prosecutor sat Mark Brito with his life-altering injuries from the day they met on full display. Ethan Gratton says David Hill's voice is stuck in his head. It was extremely loud and very domineering is the best way I can describe it. Hill is unable to defend himself like Gratton is. That's because Gratton is accused of killing him in January 2017, and Gratton's not denying that. Did you think you had killed both men? I did. He says Hill, along with Mark Brito, parked their logging equipment on his driveway in Fairfax. When Gratton told them to get off his property, several heated disputes ensued. Gratton describes returning to his home at least once before going back outside where he wiped mud off Hill's truck. That's when Dave Hill snapped. He said, you're scratching my truck. My spine jumped out of my back and my heart sunk to my stomach. But I knew I was in trouble. Gratton tells the jury that's when Hill punched him in the face and everything went black. I don't remember pulling my gun out. I don't remember taking the safety off. All I remember is hearing the bam, bam, bam of the gun. Then Gratton says Brito, quote, charged at him and he fired, shooting Brito in the head. Franklin County State's Attorney Jim Hughes asked him why he thought Brito was a threat. You didn't give him a chance to show what his intentions were. Well, go to comfort his friend. Well, if you put it that way, he didn't come out with his arms up saying, I'm, I'm safe because you think a person that hears gunshots wouldn't run towards gunshots. Brito survived and testified last week. His family previously told me his recovery has been slow. He's been declared legally blind and has trouble with his hearing. Today was day. Gratton's charged with second degree murder and second degree attempted murder. The trial is scheduled to last all week. Live in the newsroom, Stacey De Silva, Local 22 News. Glenn, back to you.